Parishioners in Spencer just devastated after they were forced to watch their historic church burn and then collapse into ashes. Investigators believe the fire started in the steeple after it was struck by lightning. WVC's Tammy Mutasa spoke with the church's pastor about what that meant to the community. Tonight, it is heartbreaking for this community to lose a beloved church that's been here for centuries. Take a look at what's left behind me, an empty shell, and the steeple is gone. Firefighters expect to be here all night looking out for hot spots. It's not what we want ever. No, it could have been horrific. 280 years as a place of worship, memories, and community, now engulfed in ferocious flames. The iconic steeple of the first congressional church of Spencer tumbling into a roaring fire. The pastor expressing how much the church dating back to 1743 means to the community. They're brokenhearted. They're, they're there are no words. Investigators think the church was struck by lightning during an earlier thunderstorm. Firefighters say the flames started from the steeple and quickly spread. It was sad. I mean, there was a lot of people crying. One lady was on her knees on the ground saying, I got baptized here. And it's just sad to see that. Any time God's buildings have a problem, it takes that many prayers away from congregating. From the air and on the ground, dozens of firefighters tackled the fast-moving flames, requiring an incredible amount of water and manpower. At one point, dangerous conditions forced first responders to pull back before the steeple collapsed. All I heard was a big boom. I don't like thunderstorms, and I'm just, I was scared. And when I came out, I couldn't even believe the church was on fire. It was terrible. This is not the first time the church has been destroyed by a fire. It was torched back in 1862. The present church was rebuilt and dedicated in 1863. Now the church with a centuries-old history has been left as an empty shell. People are deeply attached. And so it's going to be really hard for folks to figure out what comes next. Back out here at the scene, again, firefighters will be here all night. This has been an extensive firefight, and as you can imagine, they are exhausted, so they'll be doing shift changes to keep a close eye on that historic building. In Spencer, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News. Wow, what a loss. Tammy, thank you. And so many